I'm Dave Brown, and that's Alan Higgins from Federal Resources, and we're back at the Guardian Center on their indoor metro station uh, simulation place. <laughs> no, this is not a boom for filming. It's called the Core Camera System from Tactical Electronics. Pretty cool piece of kit in that uh, it does both visible, infrared, and has uh, thermal capability as well. And so it's expendable. Yeah, it's sort of reach. <laughs> you should have seen what I was doing. It no, was I don't want to know. <laughs> it's on a retractable pole system with a uh, retractable or extendable? Extendable or pole both. system. Yeah, it's both. Come on, man. <laughs> quit sharpshooting me. You can move the snake up and down. Comes with an LED, uh, LCD screen, and then on top of the screen. You could toggle between LED, view, device, menu, and power. But on the bottom of the pole camera, well, which camera am I supposed to talk to? That one. Okay. So the same controls are on the bottom of the camera, so it's pretty much hands-free on the LCD screen. So if I wanted to peek around the corner, I could toggle my view from visible view to the thermal view and then toggle back. If you're searching, say, underneath something or in a dark area, you could turn on one, and if it's very no ambient light or no lights at all, the IR floods and control the power, or you could toggle to basic LED <laughs> and turn the LEDs way up. This is training for oh, yeah. <laughs> the less than educated. See, it's training, so that's the LEDs. <coughs> Can I see them too? This is training for uh, if you're going to make a, a hit on a building or if you want to do a, a, a search for a suspect package and it gives you plenty of standoff. So if I'm, as EOD techs, want to look for a suspect package, let me turn that down. All right, are we, get, are we back on now? Yep. We're good? All right, so like for example, as EOD techs, if uh, there was a suspect package somewhere on the, what is this, what do they call this? Subway, subway train. train? Mm. On a subway train, well, I'm used to Conrail coal trains. You would turn it up and then you could kind of peek around the corner to see what you have. If you can't see anything, obviously you want to get good good coverage and then you can extend the pole out and then start doing a search down the aisle. <laughs> I feel like it's a d coming across the screen. And, and then right there would be our suspect package. <laughs> Now, if that was a body or something, a <laughs> body that's projecting heat, what do you, what would you call that? How do you call that? Heat source? Yeah. Yeah. If it's a heat source, I could switch the thermals and see something. The good thing about this thermal is it actually gives you an outline, and then I can toggle back just from the pole camera itself. If it wants to work for me today, you got to man push it. Cut. Okay, so now that we've spotted our package, in the next episode, we're going to talk about the Cobalt. The Cobalt Resolve to get a decent, help me out. Through barrier detection. Through barrier detection. And opaque. Identification. Opaque, opaque barrier. Oh, fuck. So it's so cold in here, I can't even talk right now. And they got me holding a pole in a very un. It's, I'm too old for this shit.